Hey, what's up guys? Just playing a little bit of A Train, which is a jazz song. Welcome back. My name is Mr. Harris. Welcome to Virtual RYC or RYC Virtual. I can't figure out which one I like the best yet. I am wearing a vintage Renaissance shirt. So when we first started Renaissance, we came out with these kind of shirts. I'm going to model for you just a little bit, you know, unless I turn around and kind of see the logo of the shirt. All right, so let's get into this. What I want to show you today, today is going to be the easiest way to learn all of your major chords. So within the next three to four, three to four minutes, you're going to learn all of your major chords. So let's go over this real quick, right? Real simple, really, really simple. I promise you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can we capture all those numbers? So if we look at the C scale, and we did that in another lesson, right? It's all the white notes, right? So if I start here on two black notes, three black notes, so on and so forth, two black notes to the left is going to be C. We've talked about this in our earlier lessons, right? So we got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and we're right back to C. So let's put C on one, C, D, just like the alphabets, what's next? E, good, what's next? F, right, what's next? G, now here's the tricky part, we go from G to A. A, then what? B, and then we're right back to C. So these two are actually the same, so there's really only seven different notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because we double up on the eight, which is the C and the C. All right, so this is our scale, and we've talked about how to play this before, but today is not about the scale, it's about a major chord. And usually people will tell you you have to learn all of your scales to play a major chord. And I'm going to say there's a trick that you don't have to do all of that, right? So I'm going to show you a quick, easy way. Well, we got to know this. We got to know the first chord. So the first chord is going to be a C, E, and a G. It's the first, third, and fifth degree of the scale. So there's our first, there's our third, and there's the fifth degree, right? So there's one step, there's a third step, there's our fifth step. And what is that note? It's a C, it's an E, it's a G. If you can find that one chord, you can find all the rest of them. And this is how you do it. So, I'll show you here and then I'll start playing it on the piano, right? So once again, we said two black notes, three black notes, two black notes, three black notes, two black notes. Two black notes to the left is what? Right, it's gonna be C. So if I play that C, that E, and that G, I am now playing a C major chord. And it sounds like this. Right? I'll play it again. Now, what am I playing in my left hand? So in my left hand, I'm playing the one note. So it's just a C. In my right hand, I'm playing the C, the E, and the G. Together, it sounds full like this. Right? Really cool. But that's only one chord. But there are 12 different chords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Because remember when I get back to C, I'm right back where I started. So there's all these twelve chords, but I don't know all of my scales. So how do I learn all of my chords if I don't know all of my scales? Here's a trick. Shh, don't tell nobody. I learned this easy way of doing it. So if I put my finger here, C, E, and G, and I take each finger up one step. You go here to one. The very next step is going to be a C sharp. The very next step right here is an F. The very next step here is going to be an A flat. It doesn't even matter what the notes are called. I got to be careful what that is. So because my thumb is going to be here, this is where I'm starting at. This is now a C sharp major chord. Let's do it again. Watch this. C, E, and G. I'm starting here, so it's a C major chord. I go up one step, one step, one step. Now it's a C sharp major chord. Watch this. One step, one step, one step. I'm now playing a what? Where's my finger at here, right? D major chord, right. Let's try it again. One step, one step, one step. I'm now playing a E flat major chord. Now, 
Before I play it on the keyboard, I want you to see it here. Can you zoom in that close when we walk to you? So here I am right here. So this is what it looks going to feel like on your actual keyboard. So my thumb is going to be here. Now I tell everyone to do this. C, E, and G. Bam, that's my C major chord. When I go to my next one, don't do it like this because this is going to confuse you. Slide your whole finger up. Your whole hand goes up. Slide up. Go one over, one over, one over. It's easier that way. Now I'm playing my C sharp major chord. Let's try it again. All right, I'm here. Bam, bam, C major chord, my C, E, and G. I slide my whole hand up. Go one over, it doesn't matter if it's black or white. All right, whatever the next note is. One over, one over. Now I'm playing a C sharp major chord. I do the same thing, I stay up here. I go bam, bam, bam. Now where's my thumb? It's on the D. So I'm playing a D major chord. Let's do one more. I'm gonna go bam, up over one, over one, over one. And now I'm playing a what? Where's this note at? A E flat major chord, right? So cool. Now you can go all the way. So let's, let's try here and see what it sounds like on the keyboard. All right, there's my three notes. That's a C major chord. I slide my whole hand up. There's my C sharp major chord. Let's try another one, right? There's my D major chord. One more. There's my E flat major chord. Now, I bet you, if you sat down and spent like, probably like a good hour you could probably get halfway through, right? If you spent two hours, I promise you, you would know all of your major chords, right? And then I want you to do this exercise. So once you feel like you're getting good at it, I want you to do this, right? C. I'm only going from C to D. C, C, C sharp, D, D, C sharp. Only doing three major chords, but it's making my mind mem memorize it very fast. It's called muscle memory, right? So I'm going like this. Things fun, right? Now, you might want to just do one hand to get started. I understand. If you just do like this, that's okay. Eventually, you want to use both hands, not both hands playing chords, but both hands playing something. Why? Because this instrument requires both hands, all right? After you do that, now I want you to go from C to F. Watch this. After that, try going from C to C, which is all of them. Watch this. Then try going backwards. It's going to be hard at first. all your major chords. I promise you, if you can do that, you're halfway there to playing almost any song, right? All songs are major and minor chords. They have other suspended, diminished, other kind of things. However, if you know all of your majors and minors, you can play most songs, all right? So there's your majors. So on the way out, I want you guys to practice, right? So I'm just gonna practice a little bit as we go out, okay? If you want to play along with me, please do so. Uh, uh, uh. 